Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Stella Tudor. But before that, I would like to say thank you for watching this live or at a later date as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. And if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray and I help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy and I use angelic Reiki, future life progression, past life regression, meditation, angel cards and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guest, like today's guest, Stella Tudor, who will imparting her wisdom and waking up your inner power. Now, Stella is, has a very popular Facebook group, Personal Growth for Women, where she encourages women to gain confidence and growth through live videos, affirmation, challenges. And she's recently started a program, Master Live Video, in 22 days. She's a coach and she uses past life regression, future life progression and oracle cards to help women with their growth. Some testimonials include, I had more than an hour long session with Stella and she helped me clear so many doubts about myself and how to take my life forward from here. She is an amazingly intuitive and someone you're able to connect with easily. And I loved her voice. So reassuring. <laughs> I've just had an amazing breakthrough session with Stella. Her insightful questioning technique highlighted areas I hadn't even considered, and she gave me excellent stepping stones to move forward. Stella was challenging and supportive in exactly the right measure. I felt she helped me reach a new perspective when reaching my goal. I would highly recommend her coaching. So without further ado, hello, Stella, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Hello, Ray. Thank you so much for inviting me here uh, this evening to chat with you. I feel privileged to be here. I'm good. I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> it's a special week for me, as you know. <laughs> there is a very, um, very important and interesting step in my life and in my little one's life. So it's a very special week for me. <laughs> She's going to nursery, so that's something new. <laughs> It is with a lot more time on your, a lot more time on your hand. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, then whether you're watching live or the recording, please hit the like or love button and please say hello to let us know who is here. And so we can say hello back to you. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to it so that you can get updates on all recordings. Now, today you can ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Sarah and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. And if we can't get onto any questions whilst the show's live, then we will look at them afterwards. And if you're watching this on the replay, we will answer those questions. So Stella, why don't you tell us more about yourself and then how you can help women wake up to their destiny? Sure. So where to start from? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell about myself. I'm just yeah. a human being. You know, sometimes people ask me, how do you do this or how do you do that? I say there is nothing magical um, as if like something out of this world, but we can create things to be magical if we start believing in them. So what I'll tell something about myself is that I am intuitive. So I would say that I am an intuitive coach and I help women access their inner power and their best energy and I help them shine from inside out. I've started doing the live videos quite regularly, <laughs> as you know, yeah. and I've started doing them since April last year. Um, and now, as you mentioned, I started my program. And if, by the way, if anyone is watching and still wants to join this program, you can still do that because the actual live videos start on the 25th of January. So now is the preparation. You can still catch up on the preparations videos. Uh, so you're welcome. Or if you have any questions, you're welcome. And hey, Renny. <laughs> and also, oh, 
how do I help women access that inner power through different techniques? As you mentioned, a few of them. I use future life progression, past life regression, oracle, tarot, NLP techniques, and different kind of other techniques to help women get that, do that step that they've been afraid to do for so long. It's not only about live videos, which I'm teaching right now, or only about doing the next step in their business or opening something new in their business, but it's about overcoming that fear or doubt that they have within themselves. And uh, when I have a chat with somebody, then we decide together which technique is the best, which technique will work for them, and then we take it from there. Yeah, cool. So where did um, waking up your inner power come from? This came from my own story and my own experiences. Um, I was afraid of so many things and I had to face my own beliefs and accept them, accept that they are there, face them and try and change those things. So basically, I committed to going on this journey of personal growth, and I know that this journey will never end for me. This is an ongoing journey, and I'm learning something new every day, and it feels fantastic because I feel like this is food for my soul. So it comes from my own experience. I was afraid of doing many steps, English is not my first language. If you think about it, this was just one very small thing out of many others that I've been afraid of. <laughs> and I've been thinking like, oh, you know, people will judge me. What will everybody think about me? But I've been very consistent. I've done, I've learned a lot. I've done lots of courses, worked with coaches myself, and I'm just learning every day something new. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So, you know, with with all the stuff you with all the stuff you do, um, obviously you encourage and you and you coach women. So, how so, so give us a few um, ideas, you know, about how they can, you know, how you help them wake in their inner wisdom. So uh, the fact that I help women with that at the moment came not from the beginning. <laughs> so I didn't start helping women with that from the very first beginning. Um, I was very curious about, you know, our mind and about the power of our mind and the law of attraction and all these things. So I started reading about that a lot. And then I've done, I wanted to just connect with people and listen to their stories. Then while I was learning the NLP and all these amazing techniques, I wanted to practice them just to have fun, you know, and explore them. It was like a, if you want a hobby, but in a beautiful, beautiful way. And then, Eventually, I wanted to challenge myself because I commit, I'm committing to this personal growth journey. And while I was doing the steps and I was facing my own limiting beliefs, I knew that or I was thinking that there are other people out there who are dealing with the same things, the same limiting beliefs. And I was, if while I was growing, you know, in this direction, then I was helping others, you know, because to help and for everybody who's watching, if you're thinking that you don't have enough tools or you don't have enough information in your hands, it's enough for you to be just one step ahead, someone else who needs your help. So this is what I realized and I started helping people who maybe just wanted to start that journey or wanted to start facing their own beliefs and work with that. Yeah, that that, that kind of, that kind of like makes sense that, that are, um, you know, a lot of stuff that that goes on in your life helps you um, in how you're sort of like going to be helping other people because you bring that knowledge um, in, in, into, into what you're doing and into what, into what you're saying. So, 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 the, so, so, is it mainly women that uh, that tend to work with you, or are there men as well, or do you tend to find that women are more attuned with what you need to do? 
This is a very interesting one and uh, I spent some time thinking about my niche or about the people that I can help and uh, well I came to this conclusion I wouldn't say that this will be forever, maybe in time will change, maybe in time I will go even narrower, or maybe in time I will go even wider, you never know. But uh, while I was like uh, analyzing my relationship with other people, um, I noticed a pattern, you know, so even since I was like a child, I used to connect with women, and usually women who were like my mom's age, you know, <laughs> and it was just very easy for me to connect with them. Um, and so I realized that I feel comfortable working with people, you know, women of this particular age, for example. You know? Yeah. And because I decided that I'm going to listen to my soul and follow this journey of my soul and my soul's purpose and everything like that I said I'm just going to be honest with myself and work with people who I feel comfortable working with and actually helping them because I didn't want to say that I will help everybody if I know that I can't help everybody and uh, in my point of from my point of view I think this is normal to be like that. I mean, we can't, you know, do everything for everybody, you know, <laughs> everywhere. So I said, I'm going to choose the audience that I feel comfortable with, at least at the moment. It might change mm -hmm. in time, but at the moment, this is my audience, women. <laughs> yeah, which, which, which makes sense because if, you know, you try and make it too large, then you're probably, there'll be people that you, that you won't be helping. And I think it's something that a lot of people, um, especially women, have a habit of doing when they try and help people is that they want to help everybody rather than sort of like going, OK, I need to work with a certain type to help them and then develop and see where it goes um, because that way I'll sort of like know. So, you know, how um, obviously you, you said how you worked out um, who your niche was, you know, how would you um, suggest, you know, that other women, if they wanted to work out who they should be helping with um, the particular group, how, how would they go about doing that? So I would say that when, if you're, when you're, at the beginning of this journey, say if you want to do your own spiritual business or be a coach or work in this kind of field, at the beginning, especially if you have no idea who you can help, you know, it, you have no idea about your niche, then you can try and help people that just come to you, you know, just try and help like everybody to, to begin with. But then do that intentionally, do this with the purpose of narrowing the niche eventually because the more you narrow your niche the the better <laughs> and even if people think like oh you won't have enough money and you won't do enough sessions well it's not this and you know what because sometimes people like for example if you help women get more confident in doing live videos that's a very specific one. So if I want to do a program specifically about that and to just advertise it like that and say, if I'm a client and I Google, just I want to be more confident and I want to start doing live videos, then I'm going to find that person straight away. So that's why it's easier. So then you attract exactly your people. It's like, you know, if you imagine thousands of people on Facebook and you're holding yeah. up your sign and you're saying that this is who I am, this is what I love, this is what I can help you with. And you just have to be patient and consistent and your people will eventually see the sign and come to you, but it takes time. So that's why it's an ongoing journey of growth and discovery and, all these things <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it, it is a, 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 con, a constant journey and even as um healers and coaches ourselves uh, that we're always still growing and developing um on our journeys um as as well so what would you say was um 
you know, the inner power of most women or is it in, in do they have their own individual powers or they all have the same similar power? Oh, I would say everyone has a unique power. <laughs> it's very specific to them. It's very unique. And um, even if like, you know, for example, you know that the chakras have specific colors. Mm. Well, they can be those colors, but they maybe have different, you know, shades or, mm. you know, the color, color may change. So that's yeah. the same with the power. Everybody has it differently, different intensity, different strength, you know, and this might vary because uh, maybe today I feel happier. Tomorrow, maybe I don't feel so <laughs> happy or, you know, something may happen. And this power is within ourselves. And so all we can do is activate it. Why it happens that sometimes it's not activated there can be many reasons, but most of the times what I found with my clients um, was that it usually comes from previous experiences. Most of them are in childhood, but not necessarily. Sometimes, like for example, they went to, a, this is just a random example, went mm. to an exam once and um, had an awful experience with that exam and then they never wanted to do another one again. And so they can't pass their driving test and they can't do this and that, and they struggle with this. So in these cases, we go to the particular event and work with that. And we do that through NLP and various techniques. Otherwise, we just work through lots of coaching, uh, questions and answers. And from my side, uh, through actually listening to what people have to say and uh, be there for them. But it's very important for my clients to actually want to change something within them because coaching is like both sides. It has to be from both sides. It's not just one direction because if you if somebody goes to the coach thinking that that coach is going to do magic for them <laughs> yeah. and they have expectations that that coach is going to change their life for them unfortunately this doesn't happen this way a coach is somebody who will notice that that power which is not activated and will help you activate it yourself and gain the confidence because this is another thing confidence and i was talking to you earlier yeah. confidence doesn't just come in so if we'll wait to be more confident to do live videos it might never happen confidence comes with like consistent action and determination and a, a coach is great for these kind of things <laughs> Yeah, most definitely. And Rani said hello earlier. And if you are watching this, please do say hello. So so we know that um, you are here and uh, we can say hello, hello back to you. And uh, now you, you mentioned quite an interesting thing there, consistency. And I think quite often in life, we're not as consistent as we should be. So do you think that that is a good thing and how do we get to be more consistent with what we're doing i think first of all it's about what we want to get or achieve or have <laughs> so if we want to buy a very expensive car then we have to be consistent in creating money or attracting that car somehow and so for that we need a plan so basically consistency is sticking to some sort of plan even if you don't have it on the piece of paper it's about doing consistent action even if you don't feel like doing it you know and all these champions and people who progress and have great results and are like world champions they have been consistent with their work and they've been determined so for example if we want to be very good at or if we want to write a book, for example, we mm. have to be consistent in writing something every day. If we don't mind in how long we're going to write that book, then, you know, we just go with the flow. But if we want to write the book within like two to three years, for example, 
then we need we need to understand that we have to be consistent if we want to have that done so it's about making conscious choices and being intentional with our actions and having a very like you know focused intentions and and actions consistently if that makes sense <laughs> yeah no that that's fine I, th I think that's why when you do um when when people do challenges and i mean i've just recently done um a uh, challenge um coach nick's um uh, uh challenge and that but you know and when you do these challenges with other people then you kind of like have to be consistent and show up and i know that you do um a lot of life challenges um with people and uh, this new uh live video um thing that that you've got going that's a 22 time um challenge isn't it Yes, it's 22 days, but this is not like um, to say mass <laughs> challenge. This is more of a, I've never done anything like that before. Um, in this program, I'm putting absolutely all my energy and my knowledge and everything. And what I have created with this particular program is a private group with the person who chose to do the program and I'm doing daily coaching and that person is able to go live within that closed group like a test group or just a training group whatever and I am there fully supporting the person who chose to do this program with me this is different this is not just a challenge but with the challenges I think um, we can choose to do a challenge just for the sake of doing the challenge and just for the sake of being consistent. I think a very important point in like doing the challenge is to ask ourselves, why do I want to do it? And have a very clear answer. Because if we don't create a very attractive answer for ourselves as to why should I do it, and we don't create an incentive in a way for ourselves that in the middle of the like the challenge we might say oh i don't think it's worth it because uh, there are not people not enough people watching me but if you decide that you're not doing the challenge for the people to watch you but you're doing it for yourself then you won't care about that so that's why it's very very important to understand and decide why you're doing challenges yeah. in general <laughs> Yeah, which, which which makes some um, ab absolute absolute sense because yeah, it's it's it, it, it when you when you do a challenge, it's you're challenging yourself. And, yeah, uh, there might be different reasons, and it's okay. Everybody has their reason, but when we give ourselves this answer, then it's easier to go through the challenge, and then. If you try to like build a habit like morning routine or live video or yoga maybe or something, if, tr if you try to build a habit, then you might find that at the end of the challenge, you don't find it difficult to continue with it if you, you were there for the right reason for yourself. <laughs> yeah, it makes absolute sense. So, 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 so obviously that sort of like explains how consistency um, can help you um, wake up your inner power um, you know and what type of inner powers do you know can you wake up I would say that um, most of the times it's about confidence and believing in yourself self-love and believing that you deserve what you want to attract because I think this is one of the um, most popular <laughs> popular limiting beliefs I would say there are many but a lot of the times I hear from people that they think they don't deserve it so when I work with somebody I might ask you know on a scale from 1 to 10 how much do you think you deserve that thing and usually if it's like 5 or 6 or I would say 7 is okay but if it's 5 or 6 but you have the client has to be really honest, you know, because again, a work if you work with a coach, you have to cooperate and be very honest and be there to create the change, the change for yourself. And so usually if the number is really low, then there is definitely something to work with before they start doing the steps and being consistent. Because if they think they don't deserve the end result, then will be very difficult for them they will 
feel like um, you know there is no meaning for mm. or reason for doing this thing. So the power that I work with the most, obviously there are different powers and <laughs> stuff, but this is the one that I work with the most is the confidence and um, the belief in yourself, a belief that you deserve. And even if this sounds like something, you know, easy or whatever, when you start digging into it, there are lots of other aspects that add up. So because people might, might feel like they don't deserve it because they've never had this before or because they can't get it right now and they can't see it they can't see that they can get it in the future, then future life progression comes in. And so talking about this, there are various then routes that we can take. So that's why it's very individual. Confidence can have different shades as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, which is, you know, I, I think a, a, a lot of stuff in life, you know, doesn't just mean one thing, it can mean a whole different thing to everyone else. And that is a big thing that a lot of women um, do have issues with is the confidence in themselves and the belief that they can make changes, not just to their lives, but to other lives as well. Um, so, so yeah, when they wake up to that, that inner power inside them that I have this confidence, it can literally change not just their lives, but everyone else's life around them. Exactly. And especially, you know, when I meet women who they had to do a lot of things for others and they did that consistently really easy. And so for them, there was no problem in doing things for others consistently. But for them, they struggle with that. And, uh, you know, I started this journey of personal growth before I got pregnant and for me, it was a very conscious decision to keep growing while I'm pregnant, while I have a newborn, while she's six months or one year old. It was a conscious decision and it was uh, not easy to give time to this growth mm. as well because your baby needs you 24-7. Yeah. But if you forget about this need for your soul, mind, body and soul, then you might get to that point where you feel like, well, I don't deserve it. Maybe other people around me, my family deserves it, but not me, you know. So that's why it's very important to be aware of that. Yeah. And yeah, and, and I think if you can uh, switch it around so that if you're um, very confident about doing stuff for other people, you then kind of like to, for your confidence, you look at you as somebody else that you're helping on on their journey. So rather than you go, I'm helping myself, you sort of like turn around to look at yourself and go, OK, I'm helping Ray on her journey or I'm helping Stella on her journey. So, so you actually turn around, which then gives you that, that extra bit of confidence because it's like you're doing it for someone else. You're not doing it for yourself. Yes, this is this is a great point and a great, you know, uh, technique to have. And I think it's very powerful as well. And um, also everybody is, as we mentioned before, is unique. And uh, it's very important to see that a particular technique works for that person. Yes. And um, sometimes people will yes, struggle with that, as you said, and the very the easiest step is to help them see themselves from a different perspective. And that is very powerful. And uh, you know yourself working with future and past and present, you can shift stuff around. You can just shift them as in a way that works for you, but it's just, it's, about finding that thing that works for you <laughs> exactly and quite often it's that's why you you reach out to coaches and healers because they can help you on that journey and help you find that that you can't actually find find yourself exactly and they just they don't i mean exactly they help you find yourself you said it perfectly they don't find yourself for yourself <laughs> but 
that they just guide you. So that's a very important thing. I've had people, uh, like potential clients, that I've had like initial sessions with, and then after the first session, I realized that I won't feel comfortable working with this particular person because maybe this person is not ready yet for coaching. Um, because sometimes people have very like different expectations and sometimes yeah. their expectations are very high. I'm not trying to change that, but I'm just uh, trying to be aware and honest with myself and understand if, um, if their expectations will eventually be met or not. Or if they can understand that there may be variations, then of course we are all flexible. And if we're coachable, it's just easier to work. <laughs> with. But if it's not possible, then I would just say that, look, maybe, you know, it's just not meant to be. Um, or maybe I will suggest you maybe a few books or a few exercises, and then maybe we'll meet again next month or so on. Or maybe it's just, not something that I can help you with. And I'll be honest with that. As I mentioned, I was um, talking to you before, like, for example, there are issues that I would simply not take on, you know, to work with, because it's not, it's not something that I would feel happy to work with. And I know that I won't maybe have the result that they want. So I would just say no. <laughs> yeah, and, and, I, and, I, and I think as um, healers and coaches, that's something we do have to be mindful of is that we can't help every we can't help everybody and if they're not ready to be helped by us then it doesn't matter what we do that will never work so we have to actually be honest and, and say to them I don't think at this moment in time I can help you you know maybe so and so can help you or if you relook at stuff and then come back to back to me but but yeah we and, and I think sometimes that's where healers and coaches tend to go wrong is they'll just take anybody even if they know that that person's not quite right or ready to work with them or they're not the right fit with them because they feel I have to help this person where we're really yes, and then what happens they then they and I've done this myself that's why I've learned you know and I'm still learning as I said and then what you do then when you go with it anyway and you don't listen to your own intuition, then what you do, you want to compensate and give more and more, an extra session, extra reading, something more. And then what this does is drains your energy and then this, uh, you know, you can't, you better maybe help someone else who actually would, would ben benefit from this, will benefit yeah. from this. But, uh, you know, just... I think you just learn with experience these things and uh, I've had people that at the beginning when I started this journey they were just they, they kept asking questions questions that would take time for me to tune into maybe do a reading um, maybe stuff like that and you know there is an there should be an exchange of energy if you just ask and as a healer you just give and give and give then you'll just be drained out. So this is not what you want as a healer. No, 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 because you want to be helping everyone. So, Stella, have you got any final tips or suggestions to anyone watching this um, that we might not have covered yet about how they can wake up their inner power? Just be very honest with yourself. Um, a great tool for that is journaling and also practicing gratitude. Um, um, by journaling, you're very honest with yourself and um, this is how you practice your authenticity. And when you're being authentic, um, this is when you are accepting yourself more because self-acceptance is one step towards confidence and self-love. We need to accept ourselves first. And when we accept ourselves, we can be authentic. And all we need to remember is that we don't have to please everybody. We can't help everybody. We are, we don't have billions of soulmates. <laughs> we don't have like billions of friends, you know, and 
all we can do is just be our true selves and work on that every single day and, and be consistent with that. And also, if your soul is calling you to do something in particular, then do that. Because from there, you might discover something else. And that is so beautiful. Then the journey goes on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely wonderful words of wisdom there. Um, that, that I hope that I've helped, um, hope has helped you watching this. Now, as you know, I do um, guided meditations, angel card readings. So each week I'm going to ask my guests, Stella, would you like a guided mini meditation or an angel card for you and yourself, and for, for yourself and all those watching? What would you I like? I would choose a card, please. A card, <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll do a card and we'll see what comes up for everybody. Now, as you know, um, I work very much in the present. So when I do cards, I do the card for what is needed for your highest good at this moment, which seems strange as I work in with past life progression and do future life progression, but they all come back to the present. So um, we'll see what the cards need to know for our highest good. So just give a quick cards, a quick cleanse and a bless. Okay. So what does Stella and everyone watching this, either live or on the replay, need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Stella and everyone watching this live on the replay? Oh, okay. <gasps> Perfect as the angels always are. Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect one. This is exactly what we talked about, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. And it was one of those cards that literally um, jumped, jumped out. So it's not really a lot I need to, um, I need to, you know, I need to say about that to, to everyone watching because it is, you can overcome any obstacles and that's, you know, as long as you have the confidence and the self-belief in yourself and you're consistent with that. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously that co coincides with you as well, so because it was your card as well. So remember, overcoming obstacles. Exactly. <laughs> and let them get in your way. Yes, I'm working on that every single day. <laughs> to keep growing. I'm thinking about that always. <laughs> exactly. So the cards as usual were absolutely perfect. So thank you, Angels, um, for, for your wisdom uh, in this in this show. So I hope everyone that you have gained, um, you've enjoyed this and you found it insightful and that the words of wisdom Stella has given you will help you further on your journey. So Stella, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? They can do that on my Facebook account. Send me a message or a friend request, Stella Tudor, um, or on my website, stellatudor.com or by email. Stella Tudor at hotmail.com. <laughs> so fairly straightforward, just type your name in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to thank everyone so much for watching this, um, whether live or the replay. And I would like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And if you need help finding and taking charge of your destiny and getting clear on your path, and I would love to be that guide for you. Reach out and connect with me as I would love to book a free 20 to 30 minute session via Skype or Messenger with you so that we can have a quick chat to find out more about each other and how I can help you on your journey. And I will see you next week on the 30th of January at 8 p.m. where I'll be having a conversation with my guest Sifu Boggy, who will share his wisdom in his unique and wonderful way to help you take charge of your destiny. And I've been a guest on his show and anything can happen. So I look forward to seeing you all then. Again, thank you, Stella, for doing this. And thank you, everyone, for watching this. Thanks for inviting me.